Hello Pisces, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Pisces individuals, but I'm hoping it'll reach the masses. The general population. But this is your reading. Mid-November 2018 Pisces. Mid-November 2018 Pisces. I'm hoping we'll get a better reading this time. Sometimes the energies continue or we may get a different energy with Mars going into your sign. I am sure hoping so. It'll give Pisces a little bit more power. Incoming energy. Three of Wands. Great card. Good energies coming in. Think your ship's coming in. Positive things coming in and probably negative things leaving. It's up to Pisces though. This is beginning energy past doesn't like the options they were given and they put it away from them they decided they are looking for basically better options nothing wrong with that right got a different camera set up so i hope you can see it better it doesn't look crooked it drives me crazy but the seven of cups is in reverse this is someone who does have options they're just rejecting them they're just like uh-uh, done that, been there, not doing it again. So, Seven of Cups, why are you there in reverse in the past for Pisces? Not that I blame you. Seven of Cups, why are you there for Pisces in reverse? These are new decks. I'll try to break them in because you got, you're got you getting tired of being stabbed in the back for one. Betrayed. Negative endings that you really didn't need in your life. Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, why are you there in the past for Pisces? Yeah, you need a break. <laughs> Four of Swords, taking a break, resting, recuperating. Obstacles, you feel like you didn't get your happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, why are you there? In reverse, as the obstacle for Pisces is mid-November, remember that now. Three of Wands, because you want your ships to come in. We did see that as the beginning energy. Can I get another card for the Happily Ever After card in reverse? But the Three of Wands in the upright, you're waiting for better things. That's what I'm saying. The obstacle is you didn't get your Happily Ever After, and you're wanting better things that are coming towards you, possibly, with the Wands energy. Why are you there? Ten of Cups with the Three of Wands as the obstacle for Pisces. You want it, new beginnings, new love, better love, new loves. People to change also, possibly. But you don't think they're going to. And vice versa, for a few of you, you Pisces, you could be the one that wasn't a good option for somebody. But it's just for a few of you. This is for the Pisces going through pain. Okay? That, that have been messed over. That's what I'm reading for. The Pisces that have been messed over. But like I said, you're not you're not accepting any offers. You don't see any of them are good. But the obstacle is you still want this happily ever after, but you're taking a break. You still like passion and you do want new love and you do want loving things given to you, but you're just not going to accept anything. Current environment. Your desires have wand. They've gone away. You're not. You don't have the desires and happiness like you want. You like you used to. The lust card in reverse. You're feeling blah. You've been through the ringer. Someone blew out the candle on you. Took away your sparkle. So you may get a message that's pretty abrupt, or you may be sending messages out. Stating your dis your displeasure. This is messages. Page of Swords. Could be a person too. Of an air sign. But like I said. They may be saying something to you. That kind of dampened your, your desires. A message. Like I said abrupt. Can I get another card for the Lust card. And the Page of Swords for Pisces in mid-November. For the current environment. The Hermit. You're thinking, I'll just stay to myself. 
I don't want to talk to this person possibly. You may be thinking things too, thinking of messages, thinking of what happened to you. And there's nothing wrong with being the hermit for a short time. It helps you get things together and try to think what happened so you could make sense of it all. Outside environment or what is causing all this possibly. The hangman. Things are stagnant. Things stop. Not moving forward like you want. You may be doing this also to the outside environment, people, people around you. It does happen that way sometimes. The hangman, why are you there? Also, it could be that someone's not moving towards you, but with good reason, because things just went amok, and you're just needing a break, like I said. The hangman, why are you there? In the upright, as the outside environment. So they may be feeling just as bad. Maybe they don't know what to do. They're trying to think, what should I do? This is not revealed to me. I need to, to, to think more clearly. So I'm thinking, who's ever outside of your environment, they're feeling stuck now too. They don't know what to do with the high priestess. She's hard to figure her out. Because it's about, you're very intuitive this person is very intuitive. They can listen to their intuition. And maybe that's what they're trying to do. But they have to be intuitive to, to um, unlock the mysteries of what is going on. So I'm seeing things weren't seen so clear as the outside environment. And, and the situation has halted somewhat. Can I get another card for the hangman and the high priestess? Both in the upright as the outside environment. Things didn't move forward the way you want it. But there is a wish with this. There is a happiness card. It could be the universe telling you to wait. And even though you don't see things clearly, listen to your inner voice because happiness will possibly eventually come from an outside source. But as, there's nothing wrong with waiting for it and taking your break. Until... You get your strength back. Final outcome. You may be dealing with the Prince of Swords in reverse. So there's still going to be, even though you're not taking any offers, you're not dealing with the situation, you're taking a much needed break. And, and you need to because of betrayals. Part of you still wants love. The desires have been dampened. And now you got, at the end of this, could be the Prince of Swords, who could be an air sign, could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and this person is carrying a burden, a heavy burden, or you may be feeling a burden towards this person. Like I said, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, they are in reverse. They're not exactly the most helpful, and this um, Page of Swords may be attached to them. You may be thinking upon this person. That they're, because with the Prince of Swords in reverse, you feel that they're abrupt and unfair to you. And their words are extremely harsh, and, and it's left a burden possibly on you and them. Prince of Swords with the Ten of Wands, why are you there? For Pisces. Because again, this person, well, it's right before the Ten of Swords. This is the anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety in this person and what you're feeling for this person with the Nine of Swords. It's hard for you to forget the past. And you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to. I mean, you just can't. But I feel like this person may be under a burden for what they maybe have done to you. But you probably thinking, I need a break because the anxiety occurred that occurred in your life. There is an Ace of Wands, possibly a passion offer at the end. Someone may say, let's do this again. And you may be thinking, oh, no, 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 no. Or you may be wanting this, but it's the ending energy. But it very well could possibly that someone wants to start something else up. But like I said, your desires are down. Whatever happened to you hurt. It cut you to the core. 
And it looks like it cut them too because they're carrying a heavy burden. And it's going to carry on to November. I think most of the damage was already done and now you're just going through the motions of you hurt me, I need to step back. And of course, they're... The burden is there probably on them too. But even though I think a message somewhere is going to come that someone wants a passionate new beginning in this situation. Whether you're offering it or they're offering it. To come out of this is anxiety. This burden they're carrying. Whoever's carrying it. But this is your reading Pisces. You're still going through the motions. I do believe some of this is being carried on from last month for some of you. And for some of you this is a new energy. So do what you need to do. Get your energies to back back the way it was. You know, back to a healthy situation. And there's nothing wrong with taking a break and thinking about things. I do think someone is wanting a happy situation after all. And that's why they're kind of stagnant, a little stuck still. So I just see a little bit of a breakdown, or actually more of a breakdown because of past betrayals. But you will, you will come out of it. You'll come out of it. I have no doubt about that. And I will be back hopefully before the beginning of December and give you another reading. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.